God. Patience. Oh, terrible. I have not. Anyway, boy, Tim Horton, Region Street. It's getting, the, I mean, the service is getting very, very, very bad. Just came from there, and uh, two or three people ahead of me. Then you had a couple overseas. They were questioning, they ordered by their smartphone, they didn't get what they wanted, they were showing another overseas person at the cashier. And next thing you know, we waited about 10 minutes, maybe longer. And then it's a thank God they left. Then the next woman that came, another one overseas, orders 21 cards, 21 gift cards. And <laughs> the guy was a rookie behind the cashier, couldn't took him about 15 minutes to figure out how to do it and then after all that the person uh, after the 21 car then she orders a sandwich and oh my god wait and wait they had to shut down the store because there's nobody working there Nobody wants to work here. They even had a person on Crystal Mac behind the counter last week. I was hoping for a good news story, but the individual on Crystal Mac didn't last long. It lasted about a week. It's too bad. I would have loved to hear a success story, but no success story there. And then you turn around. What they got to do, they have to start paying wages and benefits. The gravy train is over for the fed food uh, outlets just to uh, use the frontline workers as slaves and Blaine Higgs, very nice, he offered a five cents raise. He gave them a five cents raise for minimum wage, very nice. And, uh, oh no, it's getting worse. It's getting very, very worse. So bottom line is, uh, if you like Tim Horton, buy their brand and make it at home now where's Dominic Cardi how long I got how many coffees I gotta have he's at a news conference there still waiting 